Hi, it's a beautiful day. So, sun is shining and I got work to do. All right, let's go and I'll show you what I gotta do. Okay, ooh, and by the way, remember those flowers, uh, that plant pot that I didn't know what it was? This is what it is and they're so pretty. Well, guess you never know. I also planted some other little flowers. I guess they're flowers. And my spearmint is doing good. But the situation at hand is the fact that I put my water barrel on a pallet. And the pallet, of course, is not pressure treated or anything. And it rains and whatnot. So, needless to say, the pallet has failed me. So, I'm going to redo this. That's a bag of rocks. Oops, pouring out water. And I bought some cinder blocks yesterday from Home Depot and they were $2.70 each. Ugh, I remember when they used to be a buck. It's crazy. Anyway, got some more little seedlings. These are zinnias. And these five are cantaloupe. I got a little marigold. I don't know why I only got one. Let's see. And some basil. That's for me, for cooking. I can't wait. I had some basil in the house and it was beautiful. But let's get going. So, I can't move it just yet because it's got water in it. So, I'm gonna have to fish out some of that water because it's real heavy. Let's see if I can find something to put this water in. I need to at least fish out half of it because that thing is really heavy. And I gotta get some of that water out because I can't lift it up by myself. I found these two pots. I think that might do it. Hopefully I can get at least half of that water out. It won't be so heavy. I just need to shove it off to the side and be able to lift it back in place. I don't think I got enough water out. It's still full. Well, still a lot. Let's go find something else. Buckets, anything will do.
guess we stepped on it a few too many times while it was wet and now it's broke so i gotta remove it chuck it in the burn pile and mr neil can burn it up <sighs> those pavers are 40 pounds a piece they are super duper heavy and uh, that's a lot <laughs> so i take a lot of breaks let me tell you i'm definitely not one of those who works just because i work but man it's hot out here and those pavers are heavy and i just like to do stuff so I hope everybody else likes to keep busy. I should be going to the gym, but I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Not in a while, but I'll get there. That was also very heavy. <laughs> so down there, right there, I'm gonna have to dig down, make it kind of level so that I can put my, my cinder blocks down so that I have a nice level surface to put the water barrel back on. And then I can reposition it to where it needs to be because I don't think I'm getting the maximum amount of rainwater that I'm supposed to be getting. So let's get to digging. Oh yeah, it might take me a while. When I tell you it's hot in South Georgia, trust me, 
it's hot in South Georgia. Basically, it's really, really humid. There is a little bit of breeze, a little bit of breeze. Uh, that stuff behind me right there, I had to take it out of a bin because I needed the bin to put the extra water in. So anyway, I put it in a plastic bag and when I'm done, I'll clean out the bin and put the stuff back in. Mr. Neal's always putting stuff in a bin and putting it in the shed. And then it's like, well, when we need it, you gotta go outside and go get it. How about that? But let me show you my progress. All righty, I cut down some roots and I kind of hand leveled it off, but I got my little trusty level here right here it's little but it's it works and i'm gonna put that brick along the side i have a few of those along the side because they're the same height as one level of the cinder blocks and i'm gonna put that up and see if that keeps uh, a little barrier from the wall
Woo. So the next time it rains, I have my water controlled. It's on a solid platform. All I gotta do is paint, finish painting the barrel. And I'll have a solid foundation. So I just use my little watering can, scoop it up, and yay, there we go. Now to finish this back patio. Oh. Good morning. It is about, I guess it's about nine o'clock in the morning and I'm getting ready to go outside to do a thing. I have to be at the church academy at one o'clock for another sewing class. We, do, we did two sewing classes for the kids. And yesterday we made those bags I was talking about in my previous video, um, just with one string, not with two. But this morning, I got stuff to do, and while it's still not so hot outside, ooh, let me pull this. This is my shade for, for my pergola. At least it gives me a little bit of shade. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the garden because Mr. Neal has been asking for these collard greens and whether or not they're done and ready to pick. These are summer collard greens, not fall collard greens where you like wet, wait for the uh, frost to hit them. That's the way my dad always did. He would wait for the frost to hit them. But being that I planted them, I'm gonna pick them. Cause he was supposed to go out and pick them yesterday, but he didn't. Let's turn this around. There we go. Now I do see a few little spots where somebody been trying to eat at my collard greens so i'm going to pick them now whoops got this knife well i don't use this in the house much so i stopped using these so, and i got a bag so let's get them just pulled it you know cut it but then I pulled it up and just got the root okay and here we go how pretty is that those are pretty they're small but they're pretty so I'm gonna leave them in the laundry room so he can clean them up and uh, then he can I guess cook them or whatever he's gonna do put them wash them put them in the freezer but okay I just pulled that one up I'll just cut the root off again shake off all that dirt and here's another little tiny one well it's not tiny it's just smaller than the others oh I can see I got some weeds that I didn't see before. Okay. Here's another one. Because I planted six. These are my babies. That's three. here here's the roots and this is the plant I don't know maybe I'll just stick it back in the ground no nope. because I can move it over stick it in the ground I think I'll just replant this one down in here I got my gloves but maybe it, ne maybe it needed a little more room to grow so I'll just replant it 
because they were kind of close together. I'll just leave these two and I'll just take this one. pretty okay these that's what I'm gonna pick I'm gonna leave the rest of them in here I tell you these weeds are a mess aren't they okay. put my little flag down there the flag says collards. So I'll just put that back. And I'll let the rest of them just do their thing. Oops. I guess this is some sort of a flower. So. And if, I guess if you plant flowers in your Certain flowers attract, certain flowers attract the bugs in your, your vegetation that you want to eat kind of stays kind of okie doke. Oh, I don't know about these tomatoes. They didn't do well at all. I have one tomato. Oh, nope. I take that back. There's another tomato right there. Oh, and a baby right in there. So maybe I'll get a three tomatoes. <laughs> but in the meantime, my original plan to come outside today was to remove the grass or at least start removing this grass this is going to be my extended patio area and uh, it's got to go got to get rid of the dirt so I can uh, make a patio because I want my table and chairs not to be impeded by the little pebbles, the rocks. So, let's see how I'm gonna figure this one out. Don't mind the bonnet. I ain't want any dirt and dust in my hair any longer than I have to because we got plans next week we're going on margarita at sea next Thursday. Yes. So that's going to be fun and exciting. But we're not going on the one with Edna and uh, we're not going out of Tampa. We're going out of Palm Beach, the original one. Look back, cause damn, I was put to last.